Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball, HTB. Thank you for joining me on this fine afternoon. Well, I guess you wouldn't know what time of the day it is, but um, I can reassure you it is the afternoon where I'm in. And uh, thanks again for joining me today. So as you know, I try to make this more a radio format, if anything else, just because I want to try and, um, I guess, make it a bit different every now and then. Obviously, there's always the visuals that I produce every week, but I, at the same time, want this to be more of a uh, sort of, you know, on your way to work or on your way home from work type sort of situation here. So, yeah, um, this is what this sort of format is anyway. Uh, more audio. So, uh, look, uh, I've got a keen subscriber. Uh, they've actually given me a suggestion. I'm not going to name them, but uh, I thank them anyway. We've already had a bit of a chat, so... Uh, Look, uh, this edition now is no longer going to be called Polynesian Rugby League Chat. It is now going to be known as Nisian 4020. So this is going to be a main highlight of Polynesian Rugby League. And at the same time, I will also include Fijian as well and PNG. But again, just the main highlight of uh, Polynesian talent. And that obviously includes Māori. So uh, this is a few installments into the you know Polynesian sort of context. But... um. Yeah, Nisian 4020, so this is the debut show under a new name. So uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, this show here is not going to be, I guess, really NRL heavy per se, and I'm not going to have a player to talk about, but I'm going to sort of give you guys my thoughts on a, uh, I guess, uh, the best sort of uh, Pacific Island 17 available, if there, was, if there was ever like an All-Stars game that featured the best uh, talent available from Tonga, Samoa, Fiji, as well as Cook Islands as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, without further ado, I'll get into it. But um, again, what are your thoughts? Should there ever be a Pacifica sort of a All Stars team? You know, like a Nisian's All Star team. We've got the Maori. We've got the Indigenous. Where well, we don't have one for the Nisian people, so to speak. So yeah, how about that one? There? So for this team here, for the if there was ever like a say for example. Pacific Islands versus Indigenous All Stars. I would have for the fullbacks, I'd have Roger Tuivasashek for obvious reason. And then for the wings, I'd have uh, Tupo as well as To'o. And then for the center pairings, I'd have Manu and Crichton. Again, all of these players are stars in their own rights and have showcased uh, their stamp in uh, the rugby league world, one way or another. And then I've got for my house pairing. This one here was a bit difficult, um, so I've actually. So I've actually chosen two people for uh, the halfback position, but uh, the obvious number six is Luai, and then for the seven I have either Lolohea or Chanel Harris Tavita. Probably exposing the lack of depth in the harvest pairing, I guess in general, um, for a lot of uh, Pacific Island teams, hasn't been the strong suit. You can, you know, we we put our hands up for our forwards and probably some of our backs, but uh, when it comes to the the engine room. I think a lot of the Pacific Island nations lack that. Um, and obviously it's such a crucial position. That's where the direction goes, right? That's where your go forward is in regards to where to attack and where to sort of cause destruction and havoc. And uh, if they're not sort of in tune, then it makes it a bit difficult. But yeah, that's it. So Luai and uh, Lolohe or CHT. And then for the props, I've got Saifiti and Paolo. Look, it goes without saying. Right, absolutely dominant, these two players and for the hooking position there, though there is actually a lot of uh, um, you know Pacific Island players you can choose from um, I've decided to um, I've decided to actually stick with Koroisau as well for the second rows I've got Tupou Niwa and Ola Kawatu and I thought they could be the uh, second rows there for me personally and then for the lock I've got Fa'asua Maliawi and again that is the 13 from 1 to 13 and then for the, for the bench I've got Tevanga, Papali, Tauke Aho and Eden from Noah Blake again if you guys disagree please put down why that's fine um, but this to me is probably the best debut squad that you could field hey look I'm pretty sure I've probably missed a few players here and there but it, there's a lot of depth actually in the uh, in the forwards and as I say that I've, I just forgot Taumalolo but uh, there you go again a lot of depth there and uh, yeah tell me what you guys think but uh, that is sort of my, my but that is sort of my best uh, 17 if we were to ever um, showcase 
uh, Pacific Rugby League talent on the uh, All-Star stage. For State of Origin, as we all know, the Blues were dominant in their victory against Queensland, back-to-back in Queensland, by the way. There was Queensland 0, New South Wales 26, and for both teams, there was definitely highlights of Pacific talent as well. Uh, for New South Wales, there was To'o, Luai, Saifiti, Paolo, Sims, and Haas. Then for Queensland, you had Holmes, Gagai, Papali, Kalfusi, Fasua Maleawi, Fotueka, Fifita, Molo, as well as Xavier Coates. And um, again, it's, it, was, it was an absolute dominating uh, show on display. There was not much Queensland could do. Papali definitely tried, and I guess for the first five minutes, it was an absolute battering sort of a, a, a match. Queensland had the upper hand, and before you know it, New South Wales scored. And then I guess that was the, well, you could probably say the nail in the coffin, really, because uh, it sort of went downhill from there, and no matter how close Queensland got, even getting over the try line, the Blues always had answers. So, yeah, again, tough showing, but uh, some of the highlight plays for the Blues were To'o, uh, you can even put down Luai and Haas as well. Big minutes, big engine. Unfortunately for Queensland, probably their best uh, player was, out, I think, uh, Papali. And then probably put down uh, Holmes as well, who tried. Gay guy too. But yeah, there wasn't really much there for Queensland to the show. It was just a very dominating win. So New South Wales took the series with that. And they've got one more game. And look, uh, it's probably going to be in Queensland again. Uh We'll just have to see what happens there. And then over to Californian Rugby League. So if you guys don't know, the Los Angeles Mongols played the Sacramento Immortals in a game where the LA Mongols won 24 points to 22 of a very determined yet young Sacramento Immortals side. There were six debutants as well, all under the age of 20, which is good. And um, you'll actually be surprised at how many Fijians are actually in the Sacramento team as well. Um, I guess there's actually a few Fijians in, in, included in the seven teams. But it um, just shows you again that Fijian talent is very, it's very widespread, you know. So these obviously the Fijian talent in the NRL, then some who played the Super League. And obviously you got the Fijian Silk Tails. But if you go to the CRL as well, over in the California Rugby League, you'll actually be shocked at just how many Fijians there. So I'll tell you what, if Fiji could um look more widespread i reckon they'll find a lot of talent and um there was actually a lot of young fijian players too who played so the future of fijian rugby league is actually looking quite promising but um as i said before there's actually a huge um you know pacific island sort of uh, population in california and the Samoans, tongans fijians as well who play and it's good to see pacific island rugby players you know in the different uh leagues right california rugby leagues You've got the uh, NRL, you've got the Super League, and obviously you're, yeah, depend, yeah. So it's good to see them there. And but I looked, the LA Mongol had uh, Susu, Bolivo, Afionga, Isiaho, and Vaka Vola Vola. And uh, for the Sacramento, again, touched before, they had a few players. Um, I do have a list here, however. Because I don't have the list of the deputants, I'm not going to name the team here. In case I name players who didn't play and miss out those who, who did, you know. So I'll, I'll leave that here. But there was there was a good game um, for what I've seen. V- very positive signs again. Tough sort of a grueling match as well. So it was good to see. And obviously Ali Mongrel pull off their debut victory in the California Rugby League uh, Championship. So... Congrats to you, Ale Mongrel, who have a tough task ahead of them as well as do Sacramento. Just because they've lost that game does not mean it's over. So uh, stay tuned for that one there. But look, guys, that has been my Nijin 4020 chat as well. Hope all is well. Thanks again, guys, for listening. Take it easy. And just remember, hold the ball. See you guys next time.